flower pack shed off specifically for proteas is a very simple operation. The object just being to get the flowers in water, drunk and processed as quickly as possible and in, into the cauldron and then down to temperature. You then want to keep them at that temperature until it's delivered to your final client. This machine here, very simple, all it does is it cuts the flowers to length and then it strips off the bottom third of leaves. These flowers are then, uh, can then be packed by the staff on the tables here as quickly as possible. The boxes will be closed and then it's put into the cold room. The ideal is for the flowers to drink water for between half an hour, 45 minutes to max an hour, be processed and then in the cold room definitely within two hours of being packed. The flowers are then boxed here, they're kept in here according to the orders and then uh, this evening when this cold room should be full, uh, straight out here into, in, in, into the truck. Every flower which leaves the farm, we, uh, or, or each variety, we keep some flowers back and we're just testing them here in this environment just, just to ensure that our customers are getting what, basically what they paid for. If there are any problems from the customer side, at least we've got something to go back to here and say that you know, those varieties which were picked on that same day where your order left, uh, in, in our environment here, they're actually doing fine. The problem might have been uh, you know, the airline or there might have been some problems there. I think in terms of protein growing or, or horticulture in South Africa, I, I, I think there are a, a number of opportunities. Firstly, there needs to be more collaboration between growers in order to grow the industry as a whole within South Africa. I think as South Africans, we probably haven't been good at working together. I think the success you saw in countries like Zimbabwe and maybe Kenya has been due to farmers working together. I think we will be able to grow this industry and to start producing the volumes to take on our competitors. I think we have to understand that our competitors are not necessarily the farm next door to us, but it's the Kenyan rose growers or the Colombian rose growers. You know, what, what we're trying to do is to try and take a market share or percentage of, of a different flower and, and that would increase our production and our potential for production of proteas hugely. Through more and more marketing, I think our product will become exposed to more people and then it gives us the opportunity to plant bigger areas and to market and to sell bigger areas.